talking about maturing, um, consequences occur when we make choices. Pick up, let go, ignore, pay attention. And the goals of what to release and what to fill up with, have to, we have to be connecting. Like, what's our goal? What do we want to be filled up with? What do we want to let go of and release? The desire for the impact, which is the underlying sexual union, is wanting to have a cake and eat it too. Substance of the other, the forbidden. And seeing the limits of wholeness through another being in the eyes and in the behavior and in the tone. Um, in other words, when I say wanting to have the cake and eat it too, it's like what? People want to say they want to have the impact, but not necessarily the the separation or the responsibility in maturing we have to face this we also have to face that we don't want to grow up too fast we want to have that playful caring uh, taken care of not alone for long and also not feeling stranger danger which is about safety and control um i think helping myself before i fix the world um and, and i wrote this a year ago but I'm, i don't think there's any reason not to share um drinking enough water getting enough rest and downtime i deserve to have my time respected Movement, stretch, exploring the range of motion, not taking others' opinions as decrees, letting a no be what it is without trying to persuade or negotiate or manipulate, taking breaks as needed, taking a day off from something if needed, saying I don't feel social when something when someone is feeling too draining or overpowering, like communicate, I don't feel social, because it may not be them, it could be me or whatever, not focusing on what others are lacking or need, rather sharing what I can. Okay. What do I want from a male counterpartner? Counterpart. To have um, him, oh, to be guided, um, to be a better person, maybe indirectly, subtly, not with judgment or severity, which is criticism or accusation or by ignoring and rejecting. So in other words, positive feedback guidance, regular com communication, hearing from him, him initiating too, being able to feel like I can be myself, safety and comfort. Embracing after talking, after not talking, stroking slowly, um, pacing, building desire, direct contact, enjoying the increase, uh, the increasing of the want. Um, when he can make me laugh or smile, especially when I was upset, and when he can wipe away the conflict, easily, confidently reassuring me, grounding me. Uh, reassurance that everything will be okay, that I don't need to fix the world, that I can focus on myself, and that the time, that time itself just keeps going, and there's no need to hold on to experiences. This might be a little crude, but to have him body slam me aggressively, firmly into me, firmly but not to hurt, just to feel his solid energy against my physical form, like a presence, his build, his like immo immovability, um, he, that he keeps his word. We can have real talk. He gives me, oh, this is also <laughs> maybe not super uh, modest, but he gives me body sparkles and I feel a craving for him to be close and get his attention. Um, someone who respects himself doesn't need to raise himself over me and therefore can listen to me and make me feel also understood. He's not only wanting to be heard and understood himself. He holds himself as his own person and um, has hobbies, has his own norms, has friends, has a schedule to some extent. And I do think that's all for today. I'm just checking if there's um, anything else. All right, here. Not shutting down and self-control um, is about admitting embarrassment over my hairy armpits in a way that keeps my dignity. Um, saying I need to go, for example, because of the mosquitoes that are biting me and it's too uncomfortable. I'm not taking off my clothes if I don't feel comfortable, even if asked by a man who is touching me how I like. Now, by the way, this the reason I'm saying these things is not because I feel like it's a problem for me now, but it's this healing the past by bringing consciousness. In other words, there was a time I could not admit embarrassment in a dignified way over my armpits that are hairy, to both admit I was embarrassed and to do it with dignity. And also not saying I needed to go because I was being bitten, like I thought I had to stay with someone. Um, 
And also, like, there was so many times where I felt like if a man that I was, and because I was not um, uh, married, I was in relationships at the time anyway, and I would feel like if a man wanted to undress me, that he, and he touched me in a way that I liked, that I had to allow it. Um, and I felt, oh, another thing was, I, there was a playground rope, I climbed very high and I felt afraid of heights, so I just climbed down. Another thing happened where I said, I, what I like and what feels good directly and in a real time to the person like who wanted to please me who it was intimacy because intimacy is when you share something from inside of you um, finding my narrative and opening up to someone new in my life who doesn't know what I'm being for others or what's going on for me or what I've been carrying and biking with someone while they were doing tricks that are daring and expert even if I would be too afraid to do them myself I managed to not shut down and feel like I had to compete or prove myself. I just enjoyed their tricks. And finally, seeing um, saying I can't. Um, there was somebody who was doing a pull-up exercise and I was encouraged to do it, um, but I'm not able to do it. And I said, I can't. And I didn't shut down. You know, I continued being myself. Um, and then we have one more, which is self-control. So self-control here being that even when it's hard, especially when it's hard, in order to set up the new pattern is to make new habits. When someone brings out the triggers and pro provocations or provokes me, it still shows the worst of us that is in us. We can't blame them for the bad that comes out of me. Like when you squeeze something hard, what comes out is what was in there, whether or not it grew from in there or it was put in there. Um, even if they're the threatening or infuriating person that is causing the worst to be brought and come out. Um, also, the real self is a kind, sensitive creator who wants to love and be loved, not jaded or blocked or manipulated. And this is what brings out self-love and self-respect and self-trust, keeping our word to ourself, bring, being the best version of ourself, and the self-control, by the way. Um, the being the best version of ourself possible in that moment and acting in a way that promotes our honor, our strength, our ability, in other words, our honor of our strength and ability. Okay. Not developing or devolving to hatred or pettiness. Um, be through self-control. I'll stop there. I wish you a blessed evening. Bye.